Someone's gonna move that bag for you. Beautiful! That was a beautiful combo. Speed and power. Speed and power. Keep those elbows in. Don't slow down now. Wanna see your punch harder. That chin down. That bag isn't gonna move itself. Harder, hit that bag harder. I wanna see more next time, kid. Go. Let's see how you do in the ring.
Hi, everybody. So glad you're with us. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to the Mexico City Plaza here in Mexico City for tonight's main event. Ten rounds in the light heavyweight division. This should be a good one tonight. Both fighters say they are primed, coming off a very intense and passionate training camp. Okay, guys, we went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's touch gloves. And they are underway. Scheduled for 10 rounds tonight between these two. Calzaghi's trying to repeat his last outing. Remember that impressive knockout he had, Teddy? Yeah, I don't know if he should remember it. Maybe he should have a short memory because if he goes in there looking for the knockout, he might take away the most important part of his game, the jab, the things that set it up. Back and forth they go, each man getting the best of it. Able to time that left hand and score with it. Interested to see early on here how much an advantage there is with speed. Calzaghi's full of it. He has blazing hands, Teddy. Can he keep it up all night long? I think he's going to have to. Blocks that punch. Halfway through round number one. Little head hunting with the left. Oh, and the right hand comes into play by Calzaghi. Covers up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. He had his eyes set on the uppercut, but was unable to land it. Takes one, but gets one. Good work by Joe Calzaghi. A headshot blocked. Solid shot, the overhand left. Unbelievable pace here tonight. Both guys have no plans of having this fight go far. I'm sure the frame of reference for most is Hagler Hearns. Yeah, you wonder if it's going to live up to that. So far, so good. Bunches and bunches. Combination up top. Final 10 seconds of round number one. That was nice. He just drew the punch from his opponent and then a good counter by Joe Calzaghi. Yeah, like running through the rain without getting wet. Beautiful. Nice work, guys. Keep your hands up, all right? You have to keep your hands up. Don't waste energy, but I want you to keep those hands moving. Here we go. Round two is underway. A little head hunting right back to it. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Solid right by Joe Calzaghi. And now he's targeting upstairs. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Joe Calzaghi's left landing well. Carries that punch away. Keep working, bud. Oh, that uppercut got him badly. He got rocked. He just got rocked, and he's still taking punches. The only way right now is to grab on a little bit, stop this flow. Locks away that headshot. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Zoning in with the overhand left. Way to block there. Targeting that belt line with the right hand. Good job on the two-punch combo by Joe Calzaghi. Calzaghi's giving his opponent headaches here now. He's throwing punches, but he's able to block them away. 
That's a nice right hand that time by Calzaghe. Took a shot, now he gives a left. Now that's Boxing 101, the counter punch by Joe Calzaghe. Keep Just 10 seconds to go here in the second round. Keep your hands, all right? You have to keep your hands up. You gotta give me the double jab. You're not giving me the double jab. You're only giving me one jab at a time, okay? You got that? Woo! That is it. That's it. I need another round like that. Just like that, all right? Doing good. Just keep it up. Keep right. boxing just like that. You're gonna take this one. You don't need that. I'll throw that away. Tough to believe that he can turn things around quickly. Hard to believe based on the end of that last round. Oh, and there he lands the right hand well. Calzaghi's the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. Wow, Teddy, he's got some great hand speed there. That combination was an example of it. Yeah, it was. You know, not a lot of power, not a lot of pop with it, but boy, it catches your attention. And you know what? That kind of speed can intimidate a guy and keep his opponent maybe from moving his hands later on. Not able to land the headshot. That's where you want to be. Oh, a nice two-punch combo by Calzaghe. Nice strike after catching one by Joe Calzaghe. Look at the accuracy with that hook upstairs. Good flush shot upstairs. Now he ties up there. Firing off the uppercuts. Great exchange. Inside. Solid hook. And now they're trading blows. Well timed by Calzaghe. Took a step back and landed the counter. Exactly what he wanted to do. Oh! Late goings here of this round, and he goes down. Can he survive it? from a big shot. Now he's got to have some big guts to move along. You're going to find out exactly what he's made of. And the bell rings, signifying the end of the round. Fucking beautiful. That was, that was fucking amazing. I want another round like that. Okay, listen to me. When he misses with a punch, count. We got it. I need you to box him. Wait for him and boom! Oh, you don't need that. I'll throw that away. This is a classic example we're seeing here as we start round number four of just the busier guy taking the fight. He's up three rounds to zip on Teddy's scorecard. Yeah, my concern, though, so I have one little concern. What's there. that? Well, is he winning the battles but maybe going to lose the war because he's really wearing himself out. He's working so hard to get things done. Down the road, does he pay a price? Well, we've seen the complete opposite, Teddy. We've seen fighters that when they've been knocked down, they become desperate or they completely close the door and get overly cautious. This fighter is fighting the same way he's ever fought. Yeah, and that's either going to be a good or a bad thing. That's the confidence that he's going to get it right, that he understands himself, that he's not going away from his game, from his fight. 
or he's going to pay an awful penalty for it because his opponent is going to pick up on that predictability and he's going to keep banging him with the same, same reason. Calzaghi's movement's really helping him out, avoiding that punch. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by Joe Calzaghi. Keep your back off the rope. Looks to the head. Comes right back with some offense of his own. He digs in with an uppercut after blocking that shot away. Calzaghi's combination punching is working well here. Headshot lands was a hook. What a shot. Big hook comes in. What a big shot. He just went down. The infighter went out. And now he went down. Hey, it's okay to go out, but go out the side door. He went out the front door, and as you said, maybe he's paying the ultimate price. One, two, three, four, five. And he catches a lucky break. Saved by the bell here at the end of the round, Teddy. Yeah, right away you're thinking, you know, where do I spend my time right now? You want to tell him things that can help him, but he is really groggy right now, so you got to get him clear-minded first. You're looking good. Working good. He's tired. Look at him. He's so fucking tired. He's got nothing left. in front of him, but I don't know that there's any new hope. He's been down numerous times tonight, including that last round. You never know what a person's capable of when they're pushed to the brink, but this would be very unlikely. It would be spectacular. Well, his opponent is opening up and coming forward, so I would think there are some opportunities that exist. Yeah, I think some counter-punching opportunities. Opportunities not on the front end, but on the back end. Parries it away. Boom! Big shot upstairs. Joe Calzaghi's coming up with the answers, avoiding that punch. Watch right hand to the head. What an uppercut by Joe Calzaghi. Calzaghi's putting a smile on his corner man's face right there and frustrating his opponent with that jab. That is Boxing 101, a nice, crisp combination by Calzaghi. Good right hand. Fires off that hook. Oh, and they decide to trade there. Big uppercut right on the mark. Now, this is a byproduct of his energy level being low. He's dead. Big shot there. That was a big shot that Florida, and it's a big shot that may end him right here. That looked like the great pitch of great Maddox. His sinker ball. Boy, it went down quick. He gets. And if he wants to stay up, he's going to have to grab on. Kill a little time. Now Zaggy's movement helped out there. He avoided that punch. He gets rid of that body shot. Joe Calzaghi's almost looking foolish that time he missed so badly. And round five comes to an end. I can't imagine that this is how he thought this fight would play out, Teddy. He's being peppered by headshots. Yeah, but you got to wonder about what went on in training camp. I mean, did they work on defense at all? I mean, I haven't seen his head move once. All right, listen. You need to create more counters, okay? Slip his punch, then throw a straight right down the middle. 
Where's your body? Hit the body! The start of the sixth round. Joe Calzaghe's back to business right now. The entire first half. Big, big shot he just scored with. Can he beat the count? I don't think so here, Teddy. Now I know where they got that saying. Falling like a sack of potatoes. fight. Joe Calzaghe's opponent is floored. A knockout victory. Boy, was that impressive. As we saw, he was up on your scorecard throughout the evening. Joe Calzaghe is now a winner by knockout. Listen, you want to win, you want to get to a title, you want to be successful, but you want to make money. And this is one way to ensure you're going to make money, scoring knockouts. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Have yourself a great night.